What's up guys, so a while back, two days ago to be specific, I made a video basically explaining how to make two different types of hybrid cannons. Now, I thought, you know, people might know how to make these hybrid cannons, but they might not, they might not know how they actually work. So this video, hopefully, I'll try and clear any questions you've got about how hybrid cannons actually function, why they're able to do what they do. So look at this, this is a shot of a hybrid cannon, this is typically what it does, it is able to blow up a wall even when there's water, which a normal cannon wouldn't be able to do. The hybrid part of the cannon comes from the sand, which makes it able the, the t cannon to work even though there's water on top of the projectile piece of TNT. If I just fire a normal bit of TNT right now, you'll see that it will not blow up any land around it. Do you see that? It'll blow up, but it won't damage any block around it. Um, to demonstrate this, you can see some water there and a trench type cannon structure with some water on it. So I'll put some TNT there just to demonstrate to you that TNT will not actually blow up in water. Sure it'll make the sound and sure it'll do some damage to you but it won't actually damage any pots around you. Also if you put TNT in a dispenser and put a redstone signal into that dispenser it will dispense a piece of TNT which is pre-lit. Now using this you can make a cannon right everyone knows this is a basic cannon so, there we go so those first bits of tnt that i like will fire that bit forward blowing it up in mid air if you get the delay just right you can blow up some ground down below just like so which is really nice so basically how this works is when sand and tnt are falling they're both kind of like the same blocks when they're both falling and the only difference is that tnt has a countdown However, sand does not. Sand will hit the ground and it will become a normal solid block again. The TNT will obviously blow up after 8 or so seconds. I'm not sure about the exact timing, but it's roughly 8 seconds. So this allows you to... Anyway, because sand and TNT kind of fall like the same, this allows you to make sand cannons. So you can fire bits of sand around. I don't know why you would want to, but I guess it's kind of cool. Um, there's something cool to do with that, but you can fire bits of sand around the place if you wanted to, like so, and they generally land in the same place. What this relies on though is that the sand is actually falling. The sand needs to be falling when the, the TNT in the water actually blows up, or else it's just not going to work. I'll demonstrate that now. So that half slab actually breaks the sand, but as you can see, it, it did not fire the sand. And if you did have a block there, the sand would be able to fire it, because sand can only be um, blown up and fired forward when it's in mid flight. So if you look here, I'll just kill all those little squids in the water. A normal bit of TNT, as you can see it didn't blow up any ground around it, but it did do damage to the mobs, to keep that in mind. And you can press the sand down as well. So if you actually put down a bit of TNT and then a bit of sand on top of it, it will create a kind of shield around the TNT. The sand is the shield. So what will happen is when the TNT lands, it's still an entity, we like to call it. And then the sand lands on top of it and acts as a shield and allows the TNT to blow up land around it. Let's watch that one more time. And it will blow up that land around it like so. See that? Now, if we make this little platform here, um, just to give something for the TNT to land on, and I fire this hybrid cannon, like so, it should blow up the wall. There we go, bang. And the wall is gone because that sand landed on top of the piece of TNT going inside it. And what the sand does is covers up the TNT from touching any kind of water. It's like a shield from the water basically and allows the TNT to blow up, which is really cool. So I'll demonstrate this again. Uh, water breaks levers, this is proven to be quite difficult. But I got it. So if I now put a bit of sand on top of that bit of TNT, it will kind of act as a shield and allow the TNT to blow up the surrounding blocks, like so. I'll show you that again. Again, the 
sand acts as a kind of shield for the TNT, allowing it to blow up blocks, like so. This is how you would get into bases, because typical bases have water walls on them, so you need a hybrid cannon to get in there. Thank you for watching, this is my little explanation video. Um, if you've got any more questions or any more queries, um, just comment in the video, comment in the video, in the comment section, and subscribe, like, do anything you want. If you've got any suggestions for my video, um, how to make them better, maybe I've said something wrong, perhaps I've given some false information, then please by all means do it.